Hey, what's up? Um, here we are in my hometown at uh, the gym I've been working at for a few years now. Um, there's another gym about 20 minutes away I go to sometimes late night. Um, but for the last couple years, I've been coming here steady. You know, quiet gym. You just come in and get my work done. The uh, gym owner, he's pretty cool. Uh, you know, anytime I needed any kind of equipment or something, he'll make ways so I can buy some stuff, bring it in. Or sometimes he's a welder too, so sometimes he actually makes stuff for me. Um, the, the, the only thing I didn't like is after I won the Arnold, he put my picture there. You know, this always takes me back to work, you know, seeing myself on a big poster and stuff. So today we're gonna do a little shoulder workout. But, I, you know, I've always wanted to try to make some type of workout videos or any type of videos really where I could, you know, let you guys get to understand more about me, you know, who I am and, you know, how I do some of the things I do. You know, I thought about it and maybe there's some people out there that have the same style as me. And, uh, you know, the, for the people that like the hardcore workouts, they can watch hardcore workouts, but, you know, maybe there's a, a whole bunch of people out there that are just like me um, that will find what I do interesting for them as well. So, you know, that's basically what I wanted to try to do it for. Usually I will always start my shoulder workout with some type of pressing movement. Um, in this other gym I go to, they have a hammer straight shoulder press. And, uh, and here I use a Smith machine. Um, sometimes I might do behind the back, but today we did, you know, in the front. Uh, I started out, you know, with warm-up set. You know, I usually um, make my warm-up set um, where I kind of stretch the muscles and uh, get a full range of motion. Uh, as you can see, uh, I stop like right at my chin, hold it there, and then take a real deep stretch down below, all the way down to my sh shoulder girdle. Uh, to make sure and, and get the muscles nice and open. Uh, I believe a lot of times people get injured um, when uh, the muscle is a little bit cold and you put a load on it, or either you got a lack of flexibility, you know? You're pulling muscles, you know, a lot of people think uh, when you pull muscles because of heavy weight or something like that, but a lot of times when you got poor flexibility, uh, that can make it easy for you to be injured as well. Look at this shit. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> it's better. Not sure how many reps I did. I knew I tried to keep it very low reps. Um, I never, ca I never count on purpose. Uh, there will be some times where, when I'm training, I will count the number of reps I'm doing, uh, just to make sure that I am progressing. Uh, but what I, what I've found to be more productive is when I put this weight on. I just try to give maximum effort. You know, if you, if you did five last week and the goal is to do six, you know, and then you do six. You know, maybe you might be limiting yourself, you know, to get at six when maybe you could have done eight. Or, or maybe uh, you might have pushed yourself a little too far trying to get six because you feel like you gotta progress. So I just go with what my body feels like it can do when I push, you know, until I feel like I can't do it anymore properly or with the right amount of control. From there, we moved on and I had the idea, I said, okay, you need to do some type of side raise. Um, at the other gym I go to, um, there's a side raise machine. Of course, you can do side raises with a dumbbell. Uh, but today I chose, I said, you know, something I haven't done in a while, the side raises on the cable machine. And you can do those a couple different ways. You can just stand straight up, do one arm at a time. Um, but I, kinda, I like to do it that old school way where you know, you kind of lean away from the machine and hold on, extend your body out, uh, you know, because you, you got a little bit less 
um, gravity assistance when your body's leaning outwards, you know, so the weight comes all the way down, but it's not all the way at your side yet, so you can get more work, I feel. You can get more of a range of motion. Well, somewhere in the middle of my set, I had an idea, you know, hey, maybe I could, you know, it feels like doing some, some, something similar to an upright row where I raise my elbow and not my hand. I can feel that real good in my shoulders with these cables. So uh, as you can see, I tried it and it felt real good, you know, um, before I started my set. <laughs> what you see in the video is the first time I've ever done that and it felt good, you know. Um, and while I was doing those reps, I said, okay, you know, let's do a few and then let's hold one. Uh, so I think I ended up doing about five reps and then I will hold the fifth rep. Uh, and I ended up getting about 15 reps with that. Now, some people like to have structure. They like to have a set plan. And me, I kind of train instinctively. And uh, I always say when I go into the gym, you know, I don't like to have any uh, distractions. Then I really can, it's like I can hear something whispering to me, you know? Try this or do that, see how that feels. Do another rep, hold it on this rep, hold it on that rep, do some slow negatives. So throughout my whole workout, it's like, you know, even though I don't have a partner, it's like somebody's talking to me, you know? It's really just me coaching myself, I guess, you know? This one exercise I like to do for rear delts is like a bent over uh, lateral raise for the rear delts, except, see, when I bend over, uh, I can feel a lot um, of the work gets with my lower back to hold me up. So by laying on this bench, um, I'm able to not put any tension on my back at all and relax my back muscles and just work nothing but the rear delts. Um, the challenge for me on this one is making sure that I don't tense my, my um, traps when I do this and just try to keep all the, all the control in my rear delts. Um, and as you can see, I do something that's similar to a, a lateral movement, and then um, I move into something similar to a row with the dumbbells for the second half of the set. Okay, this exercise that you see me doing now is a forward shoulder press, okay? and it's for front delt. So if I see any of y'all doing this on Instagram, make sure you call it the right thing, okay? <laughs> so uh, I don't even count the reps on this. I make sure the weight is kind of moderate to light, making sure that I can control all of my repetitions. Um, there's no swinging the weight, no using momentum, nothing. It's just 100% control, you know? If I feel like I need a break, I, take, I would rather take a break for a few seconds and do another good rep than to do some shitty reps, you know? Uh, so, so that's what I do, making sure all the reps look good. After training, you know, sometime during the day, either, either it will be in the morning, uh, before or after my cardio, sometimes it might be at night, at night, before or after my cardio, or before or after my workout, I stretch uh, for about an hour. Uh, man, about five years ago, I, I started developing some real bad knee pain, and I couldn't figure out where this knee pain was coming from. And I went and you know, tried to get treatment for it and everything, and nothing would fix it. And my deep tissue massage lady, she told me, she said, you know, it could be you know, a lack of flexibility, because all of these muscles are pulling in different directions, and the strain is on the knee. So you should start stretching. And it got to where my stretching became meditation for me, you know? Um, 
like I said, you know, dealing with anxiety and stuff, you kind of find different ways to manage the stress. And uh, so when I would come and stretch, it would, I would be able, I would work on breathing, relaxing my mind, relaxing my body, you know, and just taking in oxygen, and letting it circulate. And uh, it, be, it became like a meditation. Yeah, that's it for my shoulder workout or this particular shoulder workout. Like I said, you catch me any other shoulder day and it, it, I can promise you it won't go exactly the same way. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you're able to see something maybe that you like, something that interests you, the style that I use or something that I said could help you. Uh, and if not, that's cool too. <laughs> uh, go watch somebody that you like their shoulder workout, you know? Yeah, um, but for those of you that like my style, I hope this can help you. <laughs>